down, take the weight, up, down, up, down, up, down, one more step, up, down, up. Right now on the outside, we're going to put the up. Now we're on. Left hand, left foot, up and out. Right foot, right hand, out. Left hand, left foot, up and out. Next step. Right hand, right foot, out. Holding the ball in the feet stand, look down on the right, out to the side, hold the back. Sit back, push step, knee stand, down step, hold the back. Sit back, push step, knee stand, down step, hold the back. Sit back, push step. Now it's done. Both steps. Two steps to make the knee. Sit back. Two steps. Pop. Nine and pop. Two steps. Knee and hold. Now the other pop. Knee and pop. Two steps. Knee and hold. Now the other pop. And then two steps. Knee. Right here, we're not getting, we're walking at the moment. Keep the stand, we're going to be back in the 
um, uh, last name of the person who was on the street. So let's all do that. I want to stand to let the panel bottom to make the ball. I want to the side, roll it off. Yeah, let's look at me. Last the first here. Hold down, hold down. Look back. Turn, clear, then come back. Push. Separate. Roll back. Roll on the toe. Sit back. Twist steps. And your, your left hand follows that left foot. Pivot on your right foot out as your right hand goes down to follow. Pivot on your heel to come in. Move that hand to come in. You're closer to your body. You want to move your right foot and bring it together at the same time. So balance your right hand goes inside your palm, not outside your palm, but inside your palm. Then you're in this position here, you're embracing the tiger. And as you embrace the tiger, you rotate the tiger palm. Yes, yeah, good. Okay. Go back, roll up and forward. Sit back, twist and turn, open and open, in and in. Shift your weight to the left as your right hand goes on the inside of the cross, come up, then rotate, from station, push out, off the place to the ground. Jumping shoulders, looking forward. Feel up, go down. Go down, feel down. Is that coming along? Okay. Yeah? Okay. So remember that when you um, um, raise the tiger, the right hand comes on the inside, like this. There's a power to do it with you. The right hand on the inside. Are in contact with the fist of the left. Push from the power on the right to shake yourself. Push it up, push it up. Then rotate without losing that contact. Then the, the reverse happens. The left hand is pushing, pushing, pushing. And there's no way else that the palm can move but go down, face down. So this is what I said. Right hand on the inside. Power of the right. This pushes up. As it gets to your chest level, then it will rotate. You have quite a bit of contact. I have never lost contact. Now, the only way you can push out the right hand is the power of the left. So push with the power of the left. As you push, you separate. Okay. If you get that, you're a steady deal like that. These things are working and it's not just happening. But if you use the energy of the right first, bring it up, and if you the left, push it out, you're going to be able to use the foot. Okay, so let's see if you can do it. And that is a parent person, and um, well, this is lesson number seven, eight, nine, ten, so we still have time. Just, just a closing comment. What I'd like to see is more bending of knees and keeping your joints from being fully extended. When you push up, start up, there's no more energy. The energy is fully dissipated versus you're out here halfway. You have a sense of tension, you have a sense of tension in all of the muscles. That's what you're trying to do, isometric exercise. This cycle will be standing here, isometric exercise. If the muscles are pulling, if you're trying to keep yourself upright, you're not stuck, standing joint on joint, deep joint, knee joint, ankle joint, you're here. All the muscles that are connected with the joint, all the joints are connected with the joint. And you're here, all the muscles that are connected with the joint. And it's, it's good uh, martial arts technique, not 
after that, 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 that section of the string joint and stuff like that. It doesn't turn in the right way and it turns in the wrong way. For instance, when you're, you're coming from here, not up, all the way up. Here, and then you have, you can infuse you in tension here, change the muscle tension, so the muscle tension becomes around here as you, as you make yourself small. You can always feel the muscles that are involved. Similar to, to, to if you do this, it's not all the way up, it is you. The muscles are tense, have a slight bit of tension, and contour, you know, isometric action, isometric movement. They're pulling against each other in some way, but they really, it's these guys that are pulling. Okay, that, that you're here, you get a sense of tension, then when you come back, you have a sense of relaxation. Tension. You try to play with the muscles, to teach your muscles what it's like to be. But you're also trying to teach your your muscles to get stronger because you are giving them a small bit of isometric tension, not a fully dissipated power of muscle. And uh, commencing form, you start off almost, you're not bending but you're touching part of the back. But when you come out here and you open up, Open up and then you get down to the bed, the bed joint. And this is where you have the exercise done. Throughout the exercise, you put in, you put in tension on the muscles of the leg. And that's what you're trying to do with the legs. Okay, so I'm done. Yeah. Good job.